An unattended robot is a robot that can run by itself, meaning that there's no human intervention. Think of you playing tennis while your robots work back at home or at your office computers. It's very easy to set up an unattended robot. And my name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. First thing we will need to do is to log into Orchestrator. So I go to my browser and then I navigate to cloud.uipath.com. Com. Here I click my tenant. Mine is called anasjensen.org. Let's first make sure that our machine is connected to Orchestrator and my machine is the one I'm working at. And to do so, I go to my start menu, then I search for UiPath Assistant here and open it. If yours for some reason is not green, maybe there's no color, it's red or orange, the easiest thing to do is to sign out and sign in again, or simply just sign in if you are already signed out. This one we will just ignore, and we have it here. So to sign in, we can just click this big blue button, or click the one up here and click sign in. I click the big blue button. If we are locked into Orchestrator, we can automatically uh, license uh, the connection. And in a few seconds, we are green. We are now connected. That was, what, that was what we wanted. Let me close this tab up here and navigate back to Orchestrator. The first thing that we will do is to go to Tenant. Then we will click Folders. I'll create a project folder. You can find use in the existing project, but it's very easy just to make this example if we create a new one. So I'll say Anders example. I'll choose no description. In the process packages source, we can either choose the tenant package feed, that is a shared feed on the tenant side, or we can choose to create a new package feed just for this folder but I like to share my packages, so I just click Create. Then we created it. Now we need to manage access, so below uh, this black box, I click Manage Access, then find your user. It's most likely something with your email in, mine is here, annas at annasjensen.org. You're always welcome to send me an email with comments or questions. However, I recommend to post it on my Discord because I like to answer where a lot of people can benefit. Here you'll meet 1100 RPA developers at the moment, it's still counting. And we like to solve problems and network around our careers. The link is in the description below. So then I click the three black dots here. Then I click Edit. We will uh, touch upon the most important settings, the settings that we will use to make an unattended robot. So I scroll a little bit down. The first one is the roles. You'll need to have this one ticked, allow to be automation user. That's fine. That one was the one that we changed here. Then I click next. So uh, up here, we need to enable the unattended robot. It may be uh, it is given, but uh, remember to do so if it's not. The license type is the easiest thing to, to inherit the license from the users group, then it's done automatically. And now we need to find a domain and username. Don't rely on that this is correct, or at least go check it. So search for your CMD, that will open up and click it, that will open up the command prompt, and then we are here. To find your domain and username, simply just search for or write in who am I, there you go. That's my domain and username for this. Windows machine. You can see it's not the same, so I'll copy this updated information and control C, paste it in here. The password, that is your Windows password, and again, just uh, make sure you type it in, so we know it's the right thing. The credential type, that one is the Windows credential because that's the one we're using. We're using the domain and username and the password of this machine. I don't need to touch any more settings. I can do so, I can click next, but that will just be optional settings. So I'll leave you here and then I click update. Let me close this box here. Now we need to go to machines. So behind this black one here again, I'll have my machine. That is this machine. So click the three black dots here and click edit machine. We need to allocate a license because now you can see we only we have uh, not allocated any production unattended license. So if I go over here and either click up with the arrows or just type in one, that's it. I click update. 
it's time to create a process in UiPath that we can use for this example that can run unattended. So I go to my studio. Let's create a new process and let's call it something like Anders example unattended. And then I click create. There you go. Let's open up our main workflow. So this one will just be a very simple process. That's not the scope of this video, but it could be whatever process you have created. Mine is a message box and I will type something in. I'll say if this video helps you, please help me by giving this video a thumbs up. That's it. That's my process. I want a message box to run on my computer. So to publish this one to Orchestrator, hit the publish up here. And uh, this one is just version numbers and package names. But uh, what is very important is that in publish options that we publish to the Orchestrator tenant feed, don't publish to the personal workspace feed and uh, don't publish to custom. And then this will happen. If you for some reason can not find the Orchestrator tenant feed and the personal workspace feed here, then it's because uh, you need to, in your UI path, you need to go down here and uh, you can simply just, uh, you're in, in another folder, so either choose your workspace or the shared folder. But sin, uh, since we are in the right place, we can click publish and in publish options, we choose the orchestrator tenant process feed. This is very important. Then I click publish. Soon my, my project is published. There you go. We can now run our automation unattended from Orchestrator. So if I go back here, now I navigate down to my Anders example folder that we created in the beginning. So I click here, click users. Then we click machines. We need to make sure that we have a machine to run the robots on. You can see that there's no machine here. So I click manage machines in folder. I mark this one here and then I click update. There you go. We have a machine to work on and you can see the production unattended license is one as we have specified. Now we just need to find our automation. So I click automations up here and I click add a process. I select the package name and as you remembered, I called mine Anders example unattended. By the way, these are my other processes that I have published from UiPath. I choose this one. That's it. I can click next. There does no requirements of this package, so I can just click next again. I can choose to give it a name. If I don't do it, it will just be called the name that I specified before, Anders example unattended, which is perfectly fine. So then I click create. Now we can run our process unattended. I can simply just either Start it from here. I just start it. There you go. And I can drag in the message box. You can see the green one here. That means they run. If this video helps you, please help me by giving this video a thumbs up. So we can either do this or we can schedule it. So that's the beauty of it. So say that I want, want it to run at a night where my machine is not in use. I can click the three black dots up here, add a trigger. And here I can uh, schedule recurring robots that can run daily, weekly, monthly, whatever. If you want to get a UI path job, click the video in the middle where I interview the leading RPA recruiter, Harrison Good.